Hey, I'm Jonathan Cooper with GameRevision.com. I played Luigi's Mansion then, and here's why you should play it now. Luigi's Mansion came out in 2001 for the GameCube. It was actually a launch title published by Nintendo. People were kind of annoyed when it was announced because it wasn't a Mario game. I liked it because it was one of the first games that really showed off what the GameCube could do in terms of power. I mean, the graphics were phenomenal. And also, the gameplay in general was really unique. There was nothing like it, and there's still really nothing like it. I mean, you're fighting ghosts by shooting them with a flashlight, which stuns them, and then you're sucking them into your, what was the, I'm trying to remember the name of it, but it was a, essentially a vacuum cleaner. And I mean, it's something, it's not platforming, obviously. It's not a first person shooter. It's not even a third person shooter. It's something completely unique, and it has that typical Nintendo charm. My favorite part of the game is the fact that Luigi is kind of a pussy. Uh, he's scared shitless of the entire situation. There's actually a button on the controller that has him yell for Mario. Ma Mario! Mario! And like, he'll nervously start humming the game's theme every so often. And it's kind of meta. But it really, it, it really like ex it explores this character that for, until then has just been Louis, or Mario's brother, but he's finally like a guy who's scared out of his mind and he needs Mario and he's trying to save him. A few years after I had already played it and beaten it, I picked it up again and played through, which I never replay games, but I felt the need for some reason to replay Luigi's Mansion. And there's a boss where it's a King Boo. And when you, when you hit him, he separates into like a hundred little boos and you need to take down each one individually. And it's not really that hard until you get down to like two boos left. And I went from being at full health when I had just two of like the hundred boos left to actually dying. And it kind of like a frustrated like, damn it! Not like trying to hurt anything, but just swung and caught my, my uh, knuckle on the corner of a desk and just cut it open and blood started shooting everywhere because of playing Luigi's Mansion several years after release. I couldn't even be like, oh, well, I was in the, I knew what was gonna happen and I still permanently scarred myself because of Luigi's Mansion. I'm scarred for life from video games and ghosts. You should be able to get it pretty easily. I mean, it was a big title, it was a launch title, so there's a lot of them made and it's backwards compatible with the Wii, so you can play it there. If you still have a GameCube, you can play it there. Um, I mean, there's no, no rumors of a sequel, but there totally should be because it has, I mean, the Wii would be perfect for it because of the motion controls. So, uh, but yeah, it's really easy to get now. So I definitely recommend you pick it up. Get on that Nintendo. You really, you have no excuse. You're printing money at this point. Make a fucking sequel.